there. Good afternoon. Bless here. And um, we're going to do some cheese mukbang again because my mom in law is so super kind and generous. She decided to give me this to um, try it. So I've tried already the rest, like um, the French Emmental, the Brie, and the Cantal, my top three favorites. So, um, so far. So, um, this time I'm gonna try the um, Carré, Doriac, and the Bush Mi Chevre. It's uh, usually Bush de Chevre, but uh, the Bush Mi Chevre here is uh, made out of 50% cow's milk and 50% um, goat's milk. Or, um, so, um, yeah, goat's milk, yeah. So, um, I'm just gonna serve this up one moment. So I think we're gonna try first, um, before I um, slice this off cam, I think um, we are gonna try the uh, Bush Mi Chevre, which I think this one, and this I think is the Carré Doriac. One moment. I'm back, so I just sliced the uh, Bush Mi Chevre. It's this one, or Bush de Chevre, but it's Mi Chevre because um. It's made semi made out of goats and cow's milk. Uh, looks like hardened ice cream. So um, it's an exquisite soft ripened cheese, usually made out of goat's milk and produced in the Poitou Charentes region in the Loire Valley of Central France. So it's a logged log shaped cheese, as you can see here. And I've um taken already a slice. Hmm. Uh, the rind is edible also. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Mm. It's just melted in my mouth effortlessly. This one is... um. It smells like it's salty. And um, it's very tasty, very umami, uh, very tasty and um, a bit sour, v a bit of tangy, but um, it's tangy and um, umami-ish at the same time. It's not bad. So it can be served warm on salads or um, fruit soup for um, dessert. It can be also used as um, dressings for quiche and um, canapé. And... Um, I think it could go well with red wine as well. So, um, let's try the, um, Carré d'Oriac right here. One moment. So, um, now it's time for me to try the, um, yeah, Carré d'Oriac. So, um, it's a brand of, um, it's a brand of blue cheese owned by the, um, Toulouse-based, cooperatively owned cheese company, um, Le Fromagerie Occitane. So, um, it's an industrially um, produced blue cheese, also sometimes known as Blue Doriac. So, um, and it's made out of cow's cheese and, um, came from Auvergne. And it has, um, a semi-soft texture and it's pasteurized. So, let's check it out. Ooh, it's semi-soft. Not as super soft as Coulomier or Brie. So, Kain. Mm. It's milder than Roquefort, the Carré d'Oriac. Roquefort is saltier, but this one is not bad. It's It has a, a more umami taste than... Um, Roquefort because Roquefort is really sang um tangy and um salty. This one is also salty, but not as intense as Roquefort. So um you can put this in pastas, you can put this in um bread, you can put this in, in any savory dish that you would like. It can be an ingredient for savory dishes and um hmm, it's not that bad. You can eat it by itself as well if you would like to have a um a very very flavorful cheese so um there we go i've um tested um some cheeses such as bouche mi chevre which is very very umami very very it's not salty the bouche mi chevre but it's more on the um umami side 
and it's very very soft as well very very creamy creamy umami the bushmi chevre and this kare doriyak which is um for me a milder version of roquefort so thank you very much for watching the kain it means let's eat or um kain tayo or just kain you can just say kain it's like um our um it's like the counter a filipino counterpart or tagalog counterpart of itadakimas in japanese kain see you in my next videos thank you very much for watching please give this a like share and subscribe as well see you in my next cheese mukbangs bye bye